So let's do again our fire extinguisher, a non-parametric family, and it's a standalone family. So you can either create the new here, or you'll be inside your file model. Let's do it. Let's go inside, create our family. Let's use the metric generic model. Open. After you open, you can still see these four views. Zoom extend. So we use the reference plane. Go back to the one. And then we attach your image file, which is the one I emailed you last week. Fire extinguisher, open, and then you just place it in on this side. So you need to create your reference plane, and by doing that, your tank is 100 by 100, but you can go to the back view or your front view. So you go to your front view, and then you click again, you insert the image here so that it insert you just have to go to your manage image and you place instance and you put your model here so for your tank we are instructed to use revolve so let's create your reference plane from here to there is 100 so your reference plane 100 the other side also is 100 because your diameter of your cylinder is 200 and then we create another reference plane at the top of your cylinder which is 550 550 so this is the tank at the top of your cylinder so we can create again already your tank because we have this one um, but we have to name your reference plane horizontal to top so that later we can draw on top of this plane so we copy this by create revolve in revolve you have to do first your axis line which is here then you have to do your boundary to create a rectangle first to make it easier and this one will be 92 so 92 is 46 so here is 46 and here is 490 back to your drawing is 490 so your line will be 490 and you can create your curve here from end to end this point to this point let's close it and after that you check okay and then that's your cylinder so you go back to your wt which is window tile there check so your cylinder is okay so we finish our cylinder and then the next one will be your bottom which will be created in blend so in for blend you have to be in your reference view and this is your reference view and so copy this one so for reference view it's 80 80 and then there's 90 so either you can create your reference plane or you just straight away create your hexagon and so we create our blend blend and we set our work plane to be in your top so that we told we will draw it so you can create your hexagon i think the height is 50 so for your depth you just type in 50 and 6 sides 
so place your hexagon here it's not 40 it's 40 so this one is your bottom of your button or your extinguisher after you created your bottom part you have to create also another one in your top so for your top you can either make it bigger or make it smaller it's up to you but we just copy it what whatever is on the bottom So it will tell you that there is still some open lines, so you have to close it, then click OK, and there is a line that should not be there, this one, delete it, delete it, and OK. So there's your button, which is 50. With 50 mm away from your top. And so the next thing that we are going to do is we create your um, handle, which will be in extrusion. So for your handle, you just have to create it on top of this, or you can create it here. So it's up to you. So let's create it on the top. So your it's 55 in depth and your handle is here. So for your handle, just copy this one. So we create extrusion and for the fastest way is you just create a rectangle and you can edit it. So it's 55, supposed to be 55 in depth. The depth handle 55 and then this one by 3 so one by 3 here and then hmm, okay so just have to split this one and then just create a line inside here 20 maybe 20 so then you have to create a line this looks like uh, something like this i didn't i didn't create dimensions so you just estimate how much it will be and there you go and you click ok after you finish you see it's in your view and it's protruding that way and in your left view it should be 40 so 40 so stop here and then we measure it's 40 so we just have to move it we just have to create a display because So just you can extend it or you can align it align to this line here and there up there you can remove your reference line. So that's your handle and then we create your hose hose. So next step is creating a hose. Just create the sweep. Sketch your path. Here it's 30. Going down. Going down will be 390. Okay. So this 
this line should be 390 and then you have a small bend here and then you trim so you have created your path click ok and there after that you have to click you have to do the diameter so this is your path it's red magenta thing this is where you're gonna create your sketch so I did sketch left view and it's 20 meter radio 20 mm radius so just click pen okay click okay there's your holes then the last thing that we are going to do is by using sweep blend with your nozzle so let's do that this is 20 and this one is 80 and one is 7 so you go to your create sweep blend sketch path sketch path will be from the middle here and it's 117 okay so we have created our path then you check it and for sweep blend, just as I told you before, there are two profiles. So we select the profile first, which is on the top. We have to go to our reference level. So this is your indicator that you have to draw in here. So your top will be 20 mm. So just sketch. Same view, but it's 80. Uh, diameter is 80, so you have to create the circle that is 40 mm. Escape, check. You have created everything. Just click finish. So again, you can color your. <coughs> family in uh, this exercise I've given you the color so you have to go to manage and then create your material there then you import we create new first cylinder clearance and uh, I've to given this image file which is the image so there are ways if you have to do it this way So in your graphics, you just have to check this render appearance because I'm using an image file. So you have to check this part here. So that's your cylinder. So okay. This one. So I hope you can do this, it's very simple, you can apply any material that you wanted. So that's how you do your non-parametric family.
Thank you.